Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane. Wow. I didn't forget about this channel. I promise. Even my second channel, I've been struggling to post there. Um, I had just posted another Sims build, but I had pre-recorded pre it. So it was like good and ready to go. Oh, you guys, I need to sit down so bad and just do an update with you guys. I, I kind of forgot how much um, newborns kind of consume your life in the beginning. Uh, I have a really good baby, but he's not a needy baby, but like when he's up, he wants to be held and there's no like putting him down and letting him just settle, settle down. Um, I'm about to eat my lunch and I got to hold him. Um, so it's been really, really, really hard to post as much as I want to. Um, but you know, I, the older he gets, that'll hopefully become a little easier now with the whole COVID thing school is over so it's not like I can just work when he's napping so I'm trying to figure it out and I'm doing my best right at the moment um I kind of have like one day a week where I can kind of dedicate to getting a lot of stuff done so that's sort of gonna be like my filming day um I really have to again sit down with you guys maybe we'll sit down shortly I had posted like two little posts in my community tab one about a family member of mine and then the second one just said i am hurting and that's part of the reason also i could not motivate myself to post um the past three weeks or so have been utterly hellish um in my own personal life but today is just kind of like a high um before the video starts he's hair pulling by the way he's three months and we're in that hair pulling phase which is so much fun it's my favorite phase in the entire world and that's my real hair that's not extensions <laughs> hi Emmy. um so anyways i will update you guys i promise and i will clarify those posts and i'll let you guys kind of know what's going on i need to just catch you guys back up there's footage back from um the beginning of april maybe the very end of march into april that i haven't posted yet uh so today's vlog is pretty uh <laughs> i'm not sure i'm gonna go through the footage that i have and piece together a video for you guys and catch you back up but i haven't been vlogging at all but i will update you guys really soon arrow wants to go outside so i'm gonna go have some breakfast enjoy the video and i promise i will update you guys about everything very shortly right honey Right? Okay. Hunter, honey. Uh -huh. Can you stop growing up so fast? Look at you! You're moving all on your own. Oh, boy. Ah! Come here, honey. Let me help you. Right? Let's adjust. Show them what you're doing, right? Use those stomach muscles. So I'm sitting here trying to have breakfast, and he's doing this. Excuse me. Come on, baby. Push. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. It might be the position you're at. Come on, you can you sit up again, baby? I, I positioned you a little. Hi, Annie. Hi, Annie. Where are you going, babe? Please don't mind the current state of my house. It has been a rough couple of weeks here in quarantine. I just ate a sugar cookie, right? And it was wicked good, but that's not the point. So I was eating a sugar cookie and I have these big bulky straps because Hunter is here, by the way. So he's been loving this thing, right? So um, whenever he like wants to fall asleep or he just wants to be held, like I'll hold him for a while, but boy, like kids get heavy quickly. My arm starts to get tired. So that's when I whip out this baby. I didn't like it at first. Um, I don't think I had the straps properly adjusted to my body. I still don't think they're 100% correct, but they're definitely better than what they were when I first tried it on. So I've been using this over the past couple of weeks and we've been getting used to it and I've been finding that he falls asleep in it. So whenever I can find him like, again, just getting tired or getting fussy or something and he just wants to be held, but I need to get stuff done, I'll just plop him in here and he'll fall asleep, right? It's great. What is that? The problem is whenever I get hungry and I want a snack because I have a second, this happens. And I am so sorry, Hunter. I know, you know maybe you might see this in, in the future. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in my channel, to be honest, but I am so sorry. This happens all the flipping time. That is a crumb. That is a sugar cookie crumb on top of my newborn son's head. It's gone. 
But the point is, I can't even eat a damn sugar cookie without feeling really, really guilty about getting crumbs on hand. Does anybody else do that? Like literally, even if I'm holding him, like I'm sitting down and I'm holding him and he's lying down, if I'm eating something, I always flip and get crumbs on him. I'm so sorry. But then I only make it worse when I actually eat the crumbs. Like that one I blew off. Usually I would eat it. Hi, Elle. Oh, pretty. Good job. Okay, but I do have to start dinner, and because we are in quarantine, that she should, she should just run off to. Because we are currently in quarantine, there's like, uh, is not anywhere that we're going. I don't think we told them yet. Hmm? What did you lose? My second tooth. She lost another tooth. I know. I've been feeling that all day. Yeah, that's um. I'm telling you guys, like we haven't been filming because we haven't been doing anything. Okay, so let's have some dinner. So I bought this. Since we got the chest freezer, it's been awesome. I pulled out some chicken breasts earlier this morning. What's They're chicken breast? In the fridge. Chicken. <laughs> Today I bought, I don't know, it's from Kentucky Colonel Garlic and Herb Seasoned Coating Mix. Remember garlic? Garlic really likes the garlic, yeah. Wait, I like garlic? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So some chicken in the fridge I'm gonna pull out. We're gonna coat this and then she wanted, we're gonna just do buttered noodles on the side, really simple for her. And then we're gonna do like an applesauce or something on the side as well. So let's see how easy this is. My question is why didn't I do this before? I just ended up switching tripods and I record my vlogs on my phone because, you know, your girl's on a budget, but um, the tripod that came with like the phone part, the phone connector was super flimsy and super annoying to work with. This one is much sturdier. It holds my big Canon camera. Um, so there's that. Oh, perfect timing. I was about to start working with raw meat and it's almost like you were right on time. Right on time. Good morning. <laughs> Hi. I'm so tired. All right, I got the breasts on right now, frying up. We'll see how they come out. Today, Mr. Hunter has another doctor appointment. He's all packed up and ready to go. We're about to leave. But I'm so sad because today is all his vaccinations and I'm so not looking forward to it. Like, this is the worst. I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate my kids getting shots. But my mom is going to come with me to help me because it's kind of a weird time because of this whole, like, self-quarantine thing going on. Um, All the doctors, all the doctor's offices have these, like, weird hours. So his appointment's at 4, which normally his office would be closed by then um but if you remember a couple of vlogs ago i introduced this little thermos is basically what it is i don't know why the instructions made it sound so much more complicated than it is but he's probably gonna want his bottle like right after his his appointment's at four he wants to eat at 4 30. the boy is gonna want to eat after he gets poked and pricked and stuff so i just boiled some water put in here I have a bottle as well. So this is gonna come with me. I've actually been pre-making his bottles and it's been super helpful. But if I'm like running out and I don't know exactly when he's gonna eat, I just fill it up with water. And then I pack some formula so it's nice and fresh. And then of course the hot water to warm this up when it's time to eat. So I am working on something. Good morning, by the way. I am working on something. It's kind of food prepping, but not really. Since it's kind of like doomsday right now, um, TJ and I have just stocked up on food just to be prepared for not even just like the COVID-19 issue, but like future disasters too. Um, at least we'll be stocked up on supplies and food and all that stuff. Um, so what I'm doing is because I don't mean to, but I waste a lot of food. Um, like I'll have it in the fridge and I just won't cook it before it goes bad. So we had gotten that big chest freezer. We stocked that. We bought a shelving unit too for like canned, canned goods, box stuff, cereals, backup stuff basically. And then what I'm doing, like an example yesterday, I went and I bought pork. These are um, pork chops. So I put, I portioned them. I put like four, four to five pork chops in each baggie and I'm gonna label them. So when I go to make dinner, all I gotta do is pull one portion baggie out of the freezer 
and not worry about it. And I'm doing the same thing for cheese because cheese is another thing that I buy a lot of and I waste a lot of. Um, so instead I'm portioning, on, portioning them. So I have um, shredded parm here. I also have like sharp cheddar and I have sliced provolone as well. So I'm literally just, again, same thing with the meat, just portioning them, labeling them, pulling out what I need with each recipe because again, I just, I spend so much on groceries and then half of it ends up in the barrel because I don't go through it fast enough. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. So I'm gonna um, work on this. Hunter just fell asleep. I just had him in his baby carrier. He's behind me in a swing. You can't see him, but he's right below me. Um, he's sleeping. So I'm gonna take advantage, get all this done, and then I'll bring you guys into the other room and kind of show you our back stock. It's kind of crazy. Don't mind the wood that's going upstairs to the bathroom. But I have, excuse me, I dropped that. I have all of my um, food from yesterday's grocery shopping portioned. So in here we have some shredded parm cheese, a cup of each, um, four to five slices of provolone in each one of these. I left a little bit out because I need some for tonight for dinner. Um, we have sharp cheddar cheese as well, one cup portions. We have our, again, four to five pork chop portions. And then I also even went through my loaf of bread and just portioned like two, two pieces. So if we want a sandwich or toast in the morning, because bread is another thing. I love having it on hand for quick and easy lunches or snacks, but it molds so damn quickly. And I'm tired of buying loaf after loaf after loaf of bread just to have it go to waste so you can freeze bread too so all of this i need to get away let me show you a very quick look um so we bought the shelving unit so we have like formula up there extra snacks 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 these are for my rice krispie treat cereal extra vanilla um i have a couple of these like brown gravy packets i think this is like a slow cooker packet yep I want to get like a little basket for these and get a bunch of them. Um, again, snacks when she's in school, cheese it's back there. But next shelf, tons of her favorite mac and cheese, which is the Annie's extra pasta. So I have egg noodles, I have bow ties, I have penne pasta. Um, these are party muffins back here, some cupcakes, brownies. So like I have snacky stuff in my pantries, but this is again, all like backup stuff, some cereal bars, um, some potato sticks kind of stuff. Then we get into some of my seasonings. You can see I have, um, these are TJ's candies. I don't, I don't eat these, but I have marshmallows as well. Um, these are seasonings. So I like to just have boxes of these in case I'm just stuck. And I always have chicken breasts in the freezer. So this is like oven fried chicken oven fried pork um another pork seasoning mix i think this is like a goya seasoning mix and then just more like oatmeal tj really likes oatmeal these little snacky things probably move these over a little bit down here i have more i love iced teas the brisk iced teas those are my favorite so this is a backup box we have a backup of this during the craziness they were out of the regular fruity pebbles and cocoa pebbles so we picked up like the off brand but then we found these as well so we picked up two of those tj loves powerade so those are his we have some extra these are white crayon strawberries from ocean spray they're really yummy and then down here just tons and tons and tons of water as backup and some seltzer waters too fortunately this chest won't stay open on its own it's gonna keep closing but we have tons of pizza those are all tj's i don't eat pizza that often but those are just backup casey's hungry there's not a whole lot going on we have ice creams in here ice cream sandwiches these are all chicken breasts that are just seasoned with salt and pepper and they're individually vacuum sealed um i have some italian ices as well which i'll put here actually i have some extra bolognese sauces so i made bolognese the other day and i had a ton of extra sauce so i split it into two different portions you can see the other one down there um underneath this chicken box is a bunch of steaks actually i gotta grab a ribeye while i'm in here Just stuff out of the way for a sec for a sec yeah see so i have like i have stew beef down here let me see one of these yeah so this is one and a half pounds of stew beef and then i believe 
I don't think TJ labeled these. I'm making like a cheesesteak thing tonight. So I'm just going to grab. Uh, this is a basket, by the way. Chalk full of all sorts. Sorts of meat. Oh, I need some hands for this. I'm actually going to move a couple of things around. So my ice creams. These are TJ's Ben and Jerry's. We have some friendly ice cream. Then I have some ravioli. I have some chicken fingers, pre-made chicken fingers. We have bagels in here. We have extra of like these single one pound beefs. Then I have lots of these like Asian inspired dishes. We have um, fish sticks. We have Elio's, my Stella's, which are my favorite. And I forgot that we're in here. I love that ice cream, that chocolate chip one. Yeah, you, you want ice cream? Cause you need a snack. Yeah. Pull this out for her. My grids. I'm gonna kind of just neatly stack here. The matter is just like we need to get some more baskets. Sorry, I'm trying to reach for bread. We need to get some baskets and stuff so that we can really, really properly organize this. And when I open it, it's not just chaos. So that way, when I have my grocery list like ready for the week, I can just write down what I need, open up the freezer, see what I already have and then sort of go from there. Also, it's been a while. He's still sleeping, but he's gonna wake up pretty soon for a bottle. Sorry, he just started making noises. Um, I just started unboxing. Uh, we also ended up purchasing an air fryer. I've heard really good things about it. I don't know how to use it yet, um, but I was just unboxing it. Maybe I should have recorded the unboxing. Would that have been interesting? Should I repack it? No, it's okay. Um, but this is the air fryer. <laughs> That we got. Yeah. I got the beautiful okay. to iron. All right, I'll iron it. After Good your job. video, can you iron it? Yeah, I can iron it after. I didn't want it to use pink because it's a unicorn, but I want to do yellow. Hey, you did awesome. I did okay. like light, buttery. I'll, I'll iron it as soon as I'm done recording, okay? Okay, I said that. Um. Look. But, um. You still need a bath, by the way, babe. I'll probably give you one when Hunter's having his bottle. Um, so yeah, so I've heard really good things about this. My mother-in-law has one and she swears by it. I'm not the best cook. Like I can put together a mean meal if I follow a recipe, but like to like look at something and be like, oh yeah, that's medium rare. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't know how to like cook temperature wise. I, that's where I struggle. So I'm hoping that this will make my life a little bit easier. Uh, but it also comes with a cookbook, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it just shows you like options and what you can cook in here. Um, I think the cool, one of the coolest things so far is that it actually has right on the air fryer, like options, see fish, chicken, uh, steak, looks like maybe frozen items. Like they all give you a time and they all give you a temperature, which I think is so cool. So there's that, I, I'm like dying to try this thing, but I'm gonna take some time, quickly flip through the cookbook. Um, and then maybe not in this vlog because tonight's dinner, we're doing like a cheese skillet kind of thing. So not tonight, I won't be using it, but if I use this over the next, well, I will, but maybe in next vlog or something, I'll try to make sure that um, I show you guys how this works. This is really cool. This is really cool. This is actually like a cookbook, like the French fries, like homemade French fries, barbecue chicken wings, burgers. Let me see. There's an index. Burgers, grilled cheese. What? No. Prosciutto grilled cheese. You can make a freaking grilled cheese in this. Oh my God, I just made a grilled cheese for lunch. Um, onion rings, mac and cheese. What? Um, Chinese barbecue pulled pork, cilantro, cilantro garlic steak, crab cakes, enchiladas, fish fillets, goat cheese, shepherd's pie, salmon, like guys, no, mm -hmm. donuts, chocolate lava cake. No. Guys, I'm actually, so excited. 
I'm so excited. So I'm gonna flip through this. I definitely want to try some of these recipes. Like this is like a rosemary chicken. So like just to give me my main part of my meal. Profiteroles. Oh my gosh. Chocolate chip cookies. Should be crying. This is really exciting. I can make chocolate lava cake. We decided to come outside and play on the trampoline for a little while because it's not that bad out, right? But mom, what, baby? Can you show them? There's a little bunny. Yeah, I see. I see some water too. Careful there, girlfriend. <laughs> this is uh, this is Hunter's first time on a trampoline. We're literally just sitting here, and I have him wrapped up. It's nice though. It's just like a tiny bit chilly if you're not actually moving. Oh, then I got myself wet. You got yourself wet? So I'm actually going to be starting dinner in like less than an hour, but I figured we could bring the kids outside. He just woke up for his bottle finally. And then this one has been so stir crazy because of no school. <laughs> Look at my face. Can you see? <gasps> Mommy. What? What's it? What? Can, do you mind closing that, baby? Oh, you can't reach. That's okay. That's okay. I'll get it. Oh, can you reach it? Oh, nice job. Come can I show the people I made? Yeah, show them, honey. It's still oh. recording. Just hold on. Oh, all the little dots. It's not a real mouse, by the way. No. <laughs> no, they're little cubes. Yeah. No, no, I said the mouse by your foot. Arrow's mouse. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine, show up. No, what'd you make today? I made a unicorn and a couple of beads. Let me see. Keep them still, keep them still. Oh, oh, let me see the unicorn. Oh, that's okay. So I promised you guys I would show you when I used that air fryer and I wasn't expecting to use it today, but I didn't realize that I must have used the potatoes, like the ready-made potatoes I had in the fridge this week. So I had to cut up some potato wedges. So I'm making potato wedges in the air fryer right now. Right over there, it's on. And then I'm making like a cheese steak in a skillet. That's what you hear sizzling. It's just onion and steak at the moment. In about four minutes, I need to add a little bit of Montreal seasoning, some parsley, some provolone cheese as well. I also have some jasmine rice because Ella doesn't really like potatoes. So for her side, and my, uh, ow, my corn, which is probably on fire now. <gasps> what happened? So far, really, really easy. It like, took no time at all to preheat the air fryer itself has a built-in timer too, which is really, really nice. The cheesesteak is done. I'm just going to, well, pretty much I have to just add the cheese to it. Okay, so my cheese is melting. I literally just have to wait for that. This thing dings, but it needs a couple more minutes. Just potato wedges, so it said to flip them. Once they're turn up that heat for a minute we'll put a cover on this so the cheese can melt really quickly all right let's see this thing just went off oh. you hear them that's crazy all right very cool Whoa! what are those honey oh my goodness don't mind the water i was doing dishes hi look at all those toys uh, yeah honey 